Hello, welcome to English Video Tutor Lesson Number 5. In this lesson, I will go through pronouns, uh, which takes the place of a noun, it's a substitute for a noun, and adjectives, which describes a noun. It's a word that modifies or describes a noun. Okay, let's go through this. Pronouns, so we can uh, also separate pronouns into different types of pronouns, the subject pronouns, object pronouns, indefinite pronouns, and uh, relative pronouns. Okay, for subject pronouns, uh, this is something um, that goes in the subject of sentence, and you know, the subject uh, it does an action, is subject uh, you know, performs an action in the sentence. Uh, so, um, in the subject, it refers to the, the thing or the person that performs the action. So, I, uh, or, you know, an example would be I sleep, he, he walked, she, she talked, it, um, it ate, they, they referring to a group, a group um, that is not uh, part of you, part of your group is they referring to some other. So they, which is uh, a group of more than one person that's not part of your group. You, which is you as, as opposed to me, right? But uh, it can also be used in the subject of sentence. So, let's go through this again. I, I, he, which is the masculine, which this refers to... Male. And this is the female. Female subject pronoun, male subject pronoun he, female subject pronoun she, and for this it's, um, it's genderless, so, so it's not, doesn't belong to either female or male. Right, something with that is not not female and not male. Uh, an example would be like a horse or a dog. And you don't know and you don't care whether it's male or female, so you could call you use it for the pronoun because you don't care whether it's male or female. So it's horse, right, or dog. Right. It ate dinner, right? referring to the dog eating from eating dinner from a bowl. But if you know the male or female, uh, and it's important, like if it's a person, then use he for male and she for female. Uh, usually, just that refers to a male or female person. Okay, object pronouns. Object pronouns goes to uh, something. Uh, in the it goes to the object of the sentence. It's what is what the action is performed on, right? Uh, so the subject is the the thing that performs the action, and the object of the sentence is um, the target or, or what the um, action is performed on. Right? So, for example, me. That refers to me, but in this case, it's, it's in the object of the standard sentence. So, um, an example of that would be uh, you talked to me. Right? You perform the action of talking. The object pronoun would be me. If you don't know my name, um, exactly, or you can just refer to me, right? So, you talk to me, him, same thing. This is an object pronoun of the male form, 
object her would be the object pronoun on the female form. So instead of you talking to me, you can say you talk to him, right? Or you, instead of me, you talk to somebody else, which is a male, him, or somebody else, which is a female, her. Us, referring to the group, uh, an object pronoun referring to the group belonging to us, right? Performing, performing to me, right? And there's if there's more than one belonging to the group in which includes me, that would include that, that would be us, right? Me would be included within that group, but also the people around me, right? And that. The, and in that situation, you use the pronoun us to refer to everybody, including myself. Okay, there's them, right? Which is the object pronoun uh, that's referring to a group outside of yourself. Also, it's the other, right? It's other than the group that's around me. So it's them, right? And you, that's object pronoun. So I'll give an example for each of these two. Um, okay, they play baseball with us, right? Uh, baseball is a game, so they played that game, played baseball with us, right? Us would be the object pronoun of the sentence object is uh, what the action is performed on so they play baseball that's the action on us them uh, we invited them for dinner right the action is invite and the, uh, the target of the action um, invitation is them so we did the invitation Right, the action invitation to the object, them. Okay, there's indefinite pronouns too. Indefinite pronouns is, um, so you don't know, uh, you don't know the, the person or, or the group uh, that you want to use in the sentence, right? So you don't know, you don't know the identity, so you could refer to any, so anyone, right? You don't know the identity, so it's an indefinite, right? You don't know definite identity, you don't know the definite uh, person, so in this case, anyone can refer to something indefinite, anybody. Right. Same as anyone or nobody. Right. Uh, you don't know the identity, but you're ruling everybody out. Right. You say it's nobody. And right. so nobody uh, should, for example, nobody should come into this room. Right. So you're referring to some person but you don't know you don't know or you don't care who it is but you still want to make the idea known that no person should go into a, that room so nobody should go into that room for example it's a relatives pronoun a relative pronoun uh, who did that uh, people who smoke should quit. Right. Uh, that's this is an actually interrogative pronoun. So you're interrogating uh, the identity of the person who did an action. So who did that? Also, relative pronouns. People who smoke should quit. So uh, who's doing the smoking? Who's doing the smoking? People. Uh, people who smoke should quit. Right? Uh, in this case, uh, you know, 
who refers to the people, right? Who is doing smoking? The people. Uh, but you don't really care uh, what kind of people. You don't know that that's the people, but who just takes place? Who, the pronoun who, just takes the place of the people who smoke? The people that are doing the smoking is who, right? So people who smoke should quit. Who is the pronoun? Who is the relative pronoun? Okay, next, adjectives. Uh, adjectives is a word in the sentence that describes the noun in the sentence. So, adjectives. Uh, an example of the adjectives is, this is a difficult task. Okay, in here, uh, difficult is describing the noun task. This here, task is the noun. And here, highlighted in green, difficult, describes the task, right? What kind of task is it? It's a difficult task. Difficult describes the task. Task is the noun. Difficult is the adjective. So this is, what kind of task? It's a difficult task. Another example, this food tastes good. Okay? Good refers back to the type of food it, it is. Right? It's, uh, it tastes good. It's a good tasting food. Right? So what kind of food is it? It's good food. It's good tasting food. Good describes the noun food. Food is the noun here. And good is the adjective. Okay, that's it for now. Um, so also in this lesson here, we went over pronouns, different types of pronouns, and adjectives, which is a word dis that is a description of an of the noun. Or it describes the noun. So there's a one example, difficult task. There's another example, this food tastes good. So good describes the noun food. This example, difficult, describes the type of task, a difficult task. Okay, that's it for now. Next lesson, we'll go over adverbs. Okay.